guys, welcome to another video in the channel. It's a point noted once again to another video for you guys. And today I'm gonna talk about Amy. You guys, you guys seem to really enjoy uh, my strafe guide. So today's gonna be like kind of an aim guide. I'm doing like a full aim course. Uh, I don't, I'm not really gonna talk about it right now, but it's gonna be like the most complete thing you guys are gonna ever watch uh, on the internet. But right now I'm gonna tell you three things that I do before I hop into mesh that gives me a lot of motivation plus um confidence in myself because you guys know how it is like if you hop into a ranked match like whoever you're gonna play against you never know you gotta be confident so the first thing that i do uh i talk with my chat of course like i stream every day into such videos like shinori with a zero and i literally do this like i talk with my chat i'm just gonna turn it off because it's kind of nice i talk with my chat and i do micro adjustments because this over here is literally micro adjusting like i'm literally micro adjusting one after another and I try to do like one or two runs like completely without missing. And I use the jet nice because that way you can go faster. I for, I start doing like slowly like this. And I always go up here because if you go like, if you stay here, it's too easy. Like you just got to go in a straight line from side to side. That's not what you want. You want to practice the verticality as well. The horizontal lines is important in Valorant because pretty much Valorant is micro adjustments, horizontal lines. Uh, there's a little bit of verticality in this game, but... At the end of the day, what you want to practice is uh, what you're going to use in the game. And sometimes there's like, you, let's say you're opening double doors, a guy window, you're aiming at the hallway over here, bang, you got to flick over there. So it's good to practice like up, up here. That's why I do it. Okay. The first, first thing. So I do it like this. Very easy, very seamlessly, uh, seamlessly, like nothing like super hard. Just go from one target to the other and then start doing like kind of faster like this. And when you do faster, Always try to focus, like what I'm focusing right now is the micro adjustments. Like if I'm flicking from one target to the other, let's say I came from this target to the other, I got a micro adjust because I flick here, I got a micro adjust here. So always when I go from one target, let's say I'm going from this to this, this, this. If I'm, if I over flick like kind of like this, I got, a, of course, I'm not going to do this, but, but if I over flick like kind of from here to here, I got a micro adjust here. Because it wasn't like a micro adjustment, that's not what you want. You want to do kind of like this, like from one target to the other like micro adjusting like this it's pretty easy like i normally i normally do this for like 10 minutes like the micro adjusting things and talk with my chat uh put some music in the background and that's it like 10 minutes like this after doing this what i like to do is something uh very uh different that a lot of you guys probably never saw uh anyone doing because i kind of created this training for myself first i put it too easy uh but if but have in mind that to do this, you need to have a full domination of your sensitivity. What I remember that, uh, because what I normally do, I put like this, too easy, do like this, I stay in the back, wait for the bot to like, try to hear the bot and flick to exactly where you think it's going to be. So kind of like this. I'm not going to do the full exercise, but you guys understood a little bit. Uh, why do I like to do this exercise? I will explain. I flick, see, I flick over here and I got a micro just over here. So if, if there is a target here, I heard him, bang, I flicked, I flicked com completely wrong. You see this? That's why it's important because if I want to flick correct, it will be like this. See, like from here to here in a horizontal line, not like this. Like a lot of people do this or this, like it's completely wrong. So what you want here is to focus in doing a 180 in a perfect horizontal line. Horizontal, horizontal, horizontal. A little bit forward over there, horizontal, horizontal. What I want with this exercise is to do a very quick horizontal. That's why this, this practice is so important. But normally I do this and wait for the target to appear and do like horizontal lines like this. And I do it like for 10, 20 minutes. And then after this, if I want to make it harder, I go for medium this. Medium is way harder. And I always start to focus in the where the where my micro adjustment would be. Even if you miss, you're actually practicing micro adjustments. Because like when it comes to let's say let me do a hard in normal right now. Let's let's pick up a sheriff so I don't I don't have like a bunch of bullets to, to cheat in this exercise. If I do this right now. Like I'm flicking, then I'm like when I make sure that my aim is in the in the head, I killed the, the target. I'm flicking, shooting, flicking, shooting. Like, I'm not like, I'm not doing like this. Like, a lot of people do this and they think they're practicing something like this or this. Like, 
you know like those flicks of course the flicks are nice and everything but you're not practicing nothing if you if you play like this like what you want to know is that if your first flick was correct and if your first flick wasn't correct you want to micro just that's why this exercise is so important like if you do like this flick and then micro correct flick micro correct this this is gonna help you out so much in the game you guys have no idea I mean, I'm not going to do the whole exercise. You guys understand the idea. That's kind of how it is. The third one that I want to show you guys is related to strafing. So I put 100. I don't try to kill them super quick or anything, but I just stay here and I do like this. One, and then I do this. I try to track a little bit, like track. And as soon as you're going to strafe, you should to make sure your body's going correct. Track, track, strafe, track, strafe, track, strafe, track, strafe. If you miss, it's all good. Like you practice. That's that's why you're practicing. You know, that's why you warm me up. If you miss, you miss. But try to understand. Try to always keep in mind why I missed. Like why? What 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 am I doing wrong? Did I lost the timing of the strafe? Did my aim wasn't in his head? Like what am I doing wrong? Like my tracking is not exactly there. Like one thing uh, that is a very important technique to use when you're tracking. Let's say I want to go to the right side. If I'm tracking to the right side like this. What you want to do is edge tracking. What is edge tracking? You want to put your crosshair in the left side of the head over here because you have this room of mistake. You see what I mean? So if I want to track someone, I do this. You know how I'm always trying to put my head, uh, my crosshair in the left side of that. Let's say I want to do go for the left side. I will put my crosshair in the right side of the head. Left side now, right side now. Bang. Left, right, bang. Left, right. And if you miss, you miss. It's all good. Like I'm literally keeping this so you guys can see. Like. Sometimes the, the timing of it, if I do a strafing like this, it's going to be way easier for me to uh, hit the bot. But if I strafe like a long strafe, the timing is completely different. And that's when you got, that's why you got to practice. So when I'm practicing that, I'm doing long shots like a bang, long, long tracking, bang, long tracking, long tracking. If I miss the miss, it's all good. Long tracking, bang, what else? Long tracking. And then I do some short trackings like this. That's pretty much it. Uh, so those are the three exercises that I like to do uh, to get better at tracking plus. And then I come here, I try to do like this. Like you see how everything is going super, super correct over here. I don't have aim bots. I don't have like soft aim or whatever you guys always say about me. Like it's literally timing. That's literally timing guys. Like straight up like when i when i'm streaming there are some weird people that comes in my stream they always say oh that's soft and you know the same but it's not like it's timing and strafing if i can do it you guys can do it as well it's pretty easy like look how far i am from actually let me don't go even far to prove to you guys that it's possible the cross here like this bang i'm gonna do a few rounds like this just to prove to you guys that it's possible to do it look at the head over there like this is unrealistic af like but look at this see this is unrealistic you're never gonna fight from that distance over there but like at the same time you can do it so 50 meters is way more realistic like the fights are normally gonna be like this distance over here and look how easy it is like it's literally about timing guys a d a d a d and i'm not and i'm not even like doing super correctly right now because i'm not focused but look look how like he's going like this is enough to kill someone you're moving all the time in the enemy screen. It's going to be way harder for the enemy to kill. If you want to learn this, watch this whole video. You guys, I swear to God, you guys, and watch my strafing video. I swear to God, you guys are going to get it 100%. Right? All right, boys. So I'm here in the death match. Uh, pretty much, I'm going to talk with you guys and apply the technique that I was showing you guys. So that's literally AD, AD, boys. See, like, it's super easy, guys. It's super, super easy. I can stay here like forever. Go on. AD, AD, that's it. This guy mid. This guy over there. It's literally like, it's, not, it's nothing crazy. It's just about timing. Uh, and it's very applicable in the game as well. It's right here now. Bang. Dead. I made over there. Let me open like shooting already. 
easy ad ad and this is a radiant deathmatch legit like i mean i'm radiant i'm in my radiance account right now like the movement is too strong like legit and it's pretty easy hey, look at this ad d a d a see how everything like the bullets d a d a d a the bullets are going in the same spot you see d a d See that guy? He missed all the shots of me. Cause the movement. Same with this guy. I headshot that guy. Speaking again. Headshot. Like I'm 12 2 in this death match. <laughs> like literally using my my movement. I'm recording, talking to you guys. I'm 12 2. There's people stop playing because I'm literally destroying them. Like it's, it's pretty easy, it's simple guys, it's simple. Like it's nothing crazy. It's about practicing. Do it every day. I promise you guys are gonna learn. It's gonna be easy as fuck. Peace out boys. That was your boy Noted. Thanks so much for coming in. If you learned something today, uh, don't forget to drop your like and subscribe. And I always drop some uh, gameplay videos if you guys wanna catch me live as well on Twitch, right? Peace out boys, so much, much love.